Nearly five years ago, the United Nations Human Rights Council set out to the Ministry of Justice what needed to be changed in order to respect human rights. This included revising some of the laws such as the Pen Accord, respecting the rights of prisoners and detainees by reducing overcrowding, building clinics and distributing electricity to the community and more. The head of the International Justice and Judicial Corporation at the Ministry of Justice Providence Umurunji says all 50 resolutions have been implemented as there's been a significant change in many things, even though it has not been at 100% rate. In terms of enacting human rights law, it's been achieved as required, but in terms of economic and social development, there is still a 5% gap. We are at 95% so far, but it's not to say that we haven't attempted to resolve the remaining 5%. It's because of the nature of these resolutions in terms of economic and social development of Rwandans. It's something we all wish to do, but we have worked on all the 50 resolutions we were given. There were some we were required to implement laws. We did this. For instance, empowering women and girls, the revised family law, succession laws. We have new laws for all these. <laughs> The move is aimed at promoting human rights for Rwandans rather than for the benefit of the international community, according to Providence Umurunji. What we've done is to develop Rwandans and their rights and not trying to please the United Nations because it's Rwandans that benefit their rights being respected, having laws to run to whenever they have issues. It is what pleases us before we report this to the United Nations. There are also other bodies that were revised, as the UN Human Rights Council had suggested, and others were put in place, for example, in the Rwanda Investigation Bureau and the Court of Appeal. Rwanda has been reviewed twice by the United Nations, with the first time being in 2011 and later in 2015, and is yet to be reviewed for the third time. The report was approved by the Cabinet on 12th of October 2020 as part of the 50 resolutions that were given to Rwanda in 2015. This report will be released this week, and Rwanda will explain this report in January 2021 in Geneva, Switzerland.